Taylor Dane, born Leslie Wonderman March 7, 1962, is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She rose to fame in 1987 after her debut single Tell It To My Heart. Dane achieved six additional US Top 10 singles, including Love Will Lead You Back, Prove Your Love, and I'll Always Love You. Dane has sold over 75 million records worldwide, making her one of the world's best-selling music artists. She has earned three Grammy Award nominations, an American Music Award, and multiple New York Music Awards. She has also received New York Hall of Fame honors and was ranked number 18 on Rolling Stone's list of the best female dance artists of all time. In December 2016, Billboard magazine ranked her the 28th most successful dance artist of all time. Singing and acting career Leslie Wonderman began singing professionally after graduating from high school in Baldwin, Nassau County, New York, singing in little-known rock bands such as Felony and Next. She began singing solo after finishing college and, under the name Lay Lee, recorded two dance singles, I'm the One You Want, 1985 and Tell Me Can You Love Me, 1986, which were released on New York indie label Megabolt. Signed to Arista Records as Taylor Dane, her first song to crack the top 10 was the dance pop hit Tell It To My Heart in late 1987. The song was an instant smash worldwide, peaking in the top 5 of most major markets worldwide, and reaching number 1 in many countries, including West Germany. Six more US top 10 hits followed, including Prove Your Love, I'll Always Love You, Don't Rush Me, With Every Beat of My Heart, Love Will Lead You Back and I'll Be Your Shelter. These were followed by the number 12 hit Heart of Stone. In the United States, she achieved three gold singles, Tell It To My Heart, I'll Always Love You, and Love Will Lead You Back, I'll Always Love You. A change of pace ballad compared to Dane's earlier releases, was her breakout hit on the adult contemporary charts in 1988 and paved the way for future up-tempo dance tracks such as Don't Rush Me, 1988, and With Every Beat of My Heart, 1989, to gain acceptance on adult contemporary radio. In 1990, Love Will Lead You Back, a Diane Warren composition peaked at number one on both the Billboard Hot 100 and the Hot Adult Contemporary Tracks chart. The string of hits from her first two albums, Tell It To My Heart, 1988, and Can't Fight Fate, 1989, proved to be the peak of her career. She went on to release two more albums in the 1990s, but had only one more US Top 40 hit. Her 1993 cover of Barry White's 1974 hit Can't Get Enough of Your Love, from her 1993 album Soul Dancing, which reached number 2 in the ARIA charts in Australia but only number 20 in the US. Together with Arthur Baker and Fred Zarr, Dane wrote Whatever You Want for Tina Turner's 1996 album Wildest Dreams. Dane later recorded and released the song herself in 1998 as a single from her album Naked Without You. That album failed to chart, but Dane continued to have hits on the dance charts into the 2000s. As an actress, Dane appeared in the 1997 sci-fi television series Nightman as Carla Day. She has had roles in independent films such as Fool's Paradise, 1997, Stag, also in 1997, and Jesus the Driver, 2004, as well as the Warren Beatty produced 1994 remake of Love Affair. Dane also had a recurring role on the Showtime series Rude Awakening. Dane has performed alongside Mark Bonilla and Dragon Choya. She performed on Broadway in Elton John's Aida in 2001. In 2005, Dane was featured in the VH1 series Remaking, which featured her close friends Leah Remini and Michelle Reed. The series documents Dane's return to music after taking time off to have a family, she has twins via a surrogate mother, and premiered her newest song, Right Now, a result of her collaboration with Rodney Jerkins. 
On December 11, 2007, Dane released the first single, Beautiful, from her studio album Satisfied. The song was written by Dane and Hitesh Sheon of production team Three Elements. Dane promoted it on many radio stations, including New York's WKTU. Beautiful went to number one on the Billboard dance charts. She also appeared on The Today Show, Chelsea Lately, Wake Up with Whoopi and VH1. The music video for the single and the satisfied album cover were shot by Tony Duran, who has also shot album covers for Justin Timberlake and Jennifer Lopez. Dane released her fifth album, Satisfied. In February 2008 at her first recording studio album in nearly a decade. Producers on this record include Rick Nowles, Greg Alexander and Peter Wade. The album includes both new material and recreations of some of her favorite contemporary songs. In 2008, Dane performed at the Paralympic Games in Beijing. China. In May 2010, Dane lobbied congressional leaders on Capitol Hill on behalf of National Association of Music Merchants and VH1's Save the Music Foundation to reduce cuts in music education in America's schools. In July 2010, Dane released Facing a Miracle, the official theme song to the 2010 Gay Games. She performed the song to an audience of 50,000 on July 31, 2010, in Cologne, Germany. It ended the year at number 9 on Perfect Beats Top Worldwide Singles of 2010, five years before. However, she had said, in the eyes of the Kabbalah, gays can't be married. That requires actual male and female energy and DNA in the bigger picture. I think that marriage is about a certain circuitry. I'm as married to my business manager as I would be any husband. Dane remastered her greatest hits album. She released a new single, Floor on Fire, on June 22, 2011, which broke the Billboard dance. Club Charts Top 10. In 2011 to 2012 Dane competed in Rachel vs. Guy. Celebrity Cook-Off, reaching the semi-final round in episode 5 facing off against Lou Diamond Phillips for the final spot to represent Team Rachel. At the end of the episode she lost to Joey Fatone in a runner-up challenge to win $5,000 for charity. In the early 2010s, American stand-up comedian Tig Notaro began referencing Dane in her routine, telling stories of having frequent encounters with her. This was ultimately brought to the attention of Ira Glass, who enlisted Notaro to tell the story as part of a live event for This American Life. Dane herself appeared at the end of the monologue during the event, singing I'll Always Love You. In September 2014, Dane released a new single, Dreaming. In late 2020, Dane competed on season 4 The Masked Singer as the Popcorn. She made it to the semi-finals of the competition before being unmasked in a triple elimination alongside Chloe Kim and Tori Kelly. Personal life. Dane has never married. She has two children whom were born via a surrogate. Dane became a supporter of same-sex marriage, after having been opposed to it, in 2005, and stated in 2014 that she considers the LGBT community to be her most loyal fan base. Dane is Jewish. She grew up in Baldwin and Freeport, New York.